Super bullish altcoin. Coinbase, NVIDIA, and a multi-billion dollar institutional adoption. These are just some of the catalysts for this ultra bullish project. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is your place for all things stocks and crypto. From beginner tips to expert picks, use this as fuel for your investing journey. Because when you're in the know, your money will grow. This episode of the Beam Pod is sponsored by BitGet. BitGet is the most user-friendly and secure crypto trading platform for both beginners and experienced traders. BitGet is the best place to not only trade Bitcoin and Ethereum, but also all the small cap gems that we discuss every day. With 24 seven customer support, leverage trading, and a wide array of other advanced features, BitGet sets itself apart from every other centralized exchange. Through Beanstalk's official partnership with BitGet, you'll receive 15% off all trading fees when you sign up using the referral link in the description. All views expressed by speakers on the BeanPod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the BeanPod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only. Welcome to the Bean Pod. This is Shane, aka the Jolly Green Investor. This is Josh, the Nifty Investor. Today, we're going to discuss what could be one of the most bullish looking altcoins in all of crypto when you look at what they're building and the secret catalyst that they have coming up. Look, we're talking Coinbase, we're talking Nvidia, we're talking multi billion dollar institutional adoption, and a few other catalysts. We're privy to this information. We want to share it with you guys. So make sure you smash the like button because we put a lot of hard work into the research to bring to you first before anybody else does. Because would you rather be early or would you rather be late? Personally, I'd prefer to be in before these announcements hit because that's when everybody starts to chase versus waiting and buying the top of something. So getting in early. Best way to make it in crypto. 100%. So the project we're discussing today is an undisputed leader of their sector. And it's a sector which is right now under discussed, but it's tackling one of the most real world use case problems that any crypto, crypto sector is discussing. And I think when you look at you know, a combination of what problems they're solving, the backers and partners that they have, the potential partners and backers that they are going to gain over the coming months, and where the chart is. There's a lot of things lining up to make this one of the best. Obviously, this is not financial advice, but one of the best buys in crypto right now, in our opinion. It does like we've been following this project for since day one, before day one, even. Um, before it did really, really well. And it's still doing extremely well for anybody who paid attention early. But when you look at the chart, you know, we've been watching it for a while now and it seems to have found a new floor and it looks like it's now in an accumulation phase. Once it's accumulation, accumulation phase is over and these catalysts start to hit with NVIDIA, Coinbase, et cetera. Typically, that's when you see upward movement in price for sure. And look, not everybody's in it for the tech. There are people in it for, you know, speculative price action, et cetera. But we actually truly believe in this project because of what it is doing and what they're intending to do. Um, you know, as we've alluded to, you know, Bitcoin is decentralized finance, Bitenture is decentralized AI, and then we have this for a decentralized science. Yeah, for sure. So if you haven't already figured it out, the project we're talking about today is Axendow. The ticker is AXGT, a project that we were early investors in, and we are continually bullish on moving forward. And we've never been more bullish than we are right now. Because look, as we said, every altcoin goes through these cycles, right? There's the initial hype cycle right after it launches. And we saw that with Axendow, we called it at, you know, three to $5 million market cap. It went ripped did like 100x. Then, obviously, people are taking profits, early investors are getting out. That's fine. The chart comes back down, and it goes through an accumulation cycle where the team is actually building the product and the platform, and that's what we're seeing right now with Axe and Dow. Then, what the third phase of the altcoin cycle, and this is, the, this is actually the best phase, but it's the phase that paper hands don't get to enjoy because they sell <laughs> at the bottom yeah. during the accumulation phase when the team is actually building. But if you're patient enough to hold or buy more of a token through the accumulation phase, if the team is actually building, which Axe and Dow is, then you will be able to, in theory, again, not financial advice, but enjoy the potential 
10x, 100x gains that come from a project that has gone past this hype cycle, shaken out the weak hands, and then fulfills the promise of their platform, which when we get into the nitty gritty details, which you have to watch this episode to find out, you're going to learn that Axe Dow is on the precipice of coming through with some insane catalysts, which could propel it to the next 100x. Yeah, look, this is a, uh, a company that has been around since 2014. They've already been working in the healthcare uh, industry for many years now. They have an LLC in America. They're doing everything by the books. And I really like the progress they've made. You know, this is one of the fastest tokens that I've ever personally witnessed reach over 20,000 holders in what, like a month or two's time, which is absolutely insane. I, see, I think people really see the vision here. Recently, they made a bridge to Arbitrum, you know, and that's great for anybody smart enough to want to accumulate and not pay Ethereum gas fees. You know, Arbitrum is one of the top layer twos by TVL. It's, it's number one. It's got like 40% market share or something like that. So that, that's an excellent step, in my opinion, to see them, you know, looking out for the community, making things easier, and it's going to make um, faster transactions and cheaper for, for retail. But then they have a bridge to base occurring, which is going to be happening very like, momentarily. And that is when I think that's an extremely huge catalyst because it ties to Coinbase. Yeah. Well, and I mean, and just the base network itself, right? So base is one of the most hyped blockchains and Ethereum L2s right now. And we have multiple things converging to make base hot right now. And which means AXGT going to base is extremely bullish. Huge. One, ba base is one of the top blockchains in terms of TVL. Two, there's a ton of new retail interest on base. When a token launches to base, people are like, oh, it's a new base token. We got to buy it. So this is super bullish for Axe and Dow going on there. Three, we have the Ethereum ETF narrative now coming in hot, right? So everything for the past year and a bit, it's been Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. But we have Ethereum ETF now. We have the odds of the Ethereum ETF, which may or may not be approved soon. Maybe it's already approved. It's like, we don't know what's actually happening. All we know is that Ethereum just had a massive spike people are going to be flooding into Ethereum-based tokens, and the profits that will come from Ethereum will flood into their main L2s, Arbitrum being one of them, which AXGT is already on, and Base being the other one, which AXGT is about to go on. Yeah. So all of the movements that Axendow is making into bridging onto these high TVL layer 2s is extremely bullish. Yeah, and, and just look at Dune Analytics and look at Base, the Base ecosystem. The amount of money that is coming into that, and the amount of new users is incredible. And it, remember, Coinbase is all tied to... BlackRock and all these other ones who are using Coinbase as their um, SSR for the ETFs. Mm -hmm. Coinbase also has a smart wallet coming out, which could could or may not be live by the time this episode airs. <clears throat> but this Coinbase smart wallet is going to have a sign-in with Base, a connection to Base. So it's a sign-in with Coinbase. So anybody who has coin as a user of Coinbase will be able to easily access Base through this smart wallet connection which is going to allow anybody who is now using, if you've looked at the, the data from Coinbase's earnings, which is like one of the most popular apps in the world for crypto, is now going to have access to Base, which means they will ha now have access to AXGT. That's right. It's an extremely bullish moment for, I think, crypto as a whole, but specifically for anything or any projects that are listed and operating within Base. Yeah. And then, you know, as you mentioned at the top of the episode, being on Base and working on Base means you're tied to Coinbase. And we s keep seeing rumors coming out of the Axendow camp about, look, centralized exchange listings are coming for sure yeah, this year. Yeah, for sure, yeah. Now, again, we always talk about getting in early. Would you want, do you want to be an AXGT before it gets listed on a top centralized exchange or after? Do you want to be listed on AXGT before it gets listed on, who knows, maybe it's Coinbase. If they're working on base, maybe they have ties to Coinbase. Maybe AXGT gets listed on Coinbase. I'm not saying they will, but there's rumors that there's ties and you can connect the dots, right? So again, I'm going to ask the question, do you want to be an AXGT before it gets listed on Coinbase? This is just in theory. Or after it gets listed on Coinbase, yeah. right? People always chase. People are always too late. Me, personally, I'm holding my Axe and Dow bags because I know that the team is doing nothing but deliver. And eventually, there's going to be listed on potentially one, potentially two, potentially three top centralized exchanges. This is just what we think. When you look at the team's comments in their Telegram, when you look at the connections they've made, I think it's coming. So again, we're, we're, gonna, we're sitting with our bags in here early. It's really easy to read between the, the lines here. Um, <laughs> you'd have to be pretty ridiculous to fumble your bags here. The next thing I think we should discuss is the NVIDIA partnership. There's a lot of altcoins out there that have an NVIDIA developer program 
are in that or they're in the NVIDIA Inception program. The Inception program is a bit more of a meticulous um, selection through NVIDIA. Pretty much anybody can get the developer. Mm -hmm. Right now, Axon Dallas sits with the Inception program um, certification. Yep. However, looking at where NVIDIA and Axon Dow are now, it appears as though Axon Dow is about to become an official NVIDIA partner. And with that comes some huge accolades, a lot of money, and something that really not many other projects can actually say. Yeah, I mean, l we just have to, you know, reaffirm here. NVIDIA is one of the biggest tech companies in the world. They are the authority in AI-based computer chips. What NVIDIA does in AI, the rest of the world follows. So to see a project like Axendow with a current market cap around, what, 40 mil? Potentially becoming an official partner of NVIDIA, which... There are almost no crypto projects that can no, boast that. No. Now, not only will this be, and when this if said if slash when this again, this is just our speculation here. If slash when Axendow becomes an official partnership of Nvidia, that announcement is going to yeah send this token. Oh yeah, and bring a ton of eyes in crypto and out of crypto onto Axendow. It really will. And if you read into what being an official partner of Nvidia allows for the project it's an investment of no less than 10 million dollars from nvidia into the project no less than no less than yeah <laughs> that's huge money for axe and potentially if that happens and look that is it's going to be one of the most bullish pieces of news that i've seen any crypto project being tied to nvidia and will propel axe and in my opinion to the next level so again do you want to be in axe and axgt before they potentially become a partnership a partner with nvidia or do you want to be in after? I know my decision. I'm in early. Yeah, absolutely. And I, I we're see, we're seeing some stuff there. If you go if you go through Axon Dow's um, Twitter page or whatever their X page, you can see that there's been some connections there with Nvidia and how Nvidia has worked with them already, hand selected Axon Dow to be their healthcare partner specifically for certain projects and whatnot. So yeah, they're moving in the right direction there. Yeah, I mean, look, again, we're, we're reading between the lines here. We're speculating. None of this is for certain, but that's what we do on this show. We do research into projects. We read in between the lines. We connect the dots about things which may or may not happen. Not everything we say works out, but a lot of the time what we, we speculate on comes true. So do with those words what you will. They're also going through a certic audit, certic audit at the moment. I think after we see that, that's when we're going to start to see the base, the Coinbase, the NVIDIA. Mm -hmm. Once the the contract is bug proof, you know, the, I know they also have the smart contract and automation deployment for funds and all that stuff. That means they'll be hands off from the team. Everything's locked. Everything's secure. Everything is automatic. I think once this audit is finished and these smart contracts are deployed, that's when we start to, we're going to start to see this acceleration of Axendow. And I think when you, once you see everything secure like that, what you're going to see is if you go into the act, this is the public Axe and Dow Telegram group. You know, you don't have to be an advisor like we are to know this stuff. Go into their Telegram group. You can see the team always talking about these multi-billion dollar institutions. Now, when you talk about, this is why we're so bullish on Axe and Dow. You know, this, this isn't just a meme coin, right? They're solving, they're disrupting a potential trillion dollar industry in medical research. Like that we're talking about science here. This is a one of the world's largest industries. And what Axendow and DeSci is doing is they're taking, that's, you know, like you said, decent, decentralized finance, Bitcoin. It solves a lot of these problems with traditional finance. Decentralized AI, BitTensor, solves a lot of the problems with, decentrali with, with centralized AI. Decentralized science is solving a ton of problems with centralized scientific research, which is bias, lack of funding, very slow moving. Like how slow do these traditional uh, science companies move? So oh, slow. It's like eight, eight months to get like a public, uh, you got to pay like five grand to get a uh, paper published. You got to get peer reviewed. Yep. It has to align with like maybe the universities, uh, what, you know, the, the vision that they have. Mm -hmm. It takes six to eight months, all these things. This is going to expedite all that. It's like impossible for certain certain uh, scientists and researchers to get any funding. Yeah, and like they're connecting everybody with the research so people are going to be able to monetize it, monetize their data. We've already talked about in previous episodes their physical device, which will allow people to monetize their own data specifically into crypto and buy stuff from it. Like that's another huge bullish catalyst for Axe. Now we won't even really get into today, but they've got so much going on. But going back to what this all means for these multi potential multi billion dollar institutions, once they have everything, all their you know all their T's crossed and their I's dotted, we can see 
where these potential multi-billion dollar institution deals will come in with Axe Endow because they've established themselves as the authority, the number one project in the decentralized science sector. So when you start to see all these huge institutions that say, look, we want to start getting involved in what's clearly a disruptor, they're going to be picking Axe Endow. In our opinion, they should be picking Axe Endow as their partner to start to disrupt these multi-billion dollar sectors of science. And I think we're not too far off from that, again, reading in between the lines what the team is saying in the telegram. Yeah, it makes a lot of sense. And then once this multi-billion dollar um, you know, letter of intent is signed with, and it, it all goes live, and then you have these physical devices that are going to be sent out nationally, this will be one of the very few projects that is actually mass adopted because you'll be able to walk into any sort of store, provide your data anonymously, help fund science research, and be rewarded for in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and AXGT. Mm-hmm. So the fact you just, you know, provide some data and you're getting crypto like that, but you're also helping science, is, it's game-changing. For sure. And one really cool thing that Axon has done lately that's kind of assured, in my opinion, that they're going to be the leader of the DSI sector is this health data alliance that they've created. So the purpose is to bring together stakeholders in healthcare, technology, and research, all in decentralized and crypto. And they're already starting to add partners in this health data alliance because you know when you're talking about healthcare and science you know the more stakeholders you have together the better for the actual they're solving a real human problem here right because the faster we can develop drugs and trials and clinics and research and all that kind of stuff the more lives we can save the more people we can save it's good for the the world you know to put it simply so by starting this health data alliance action dow is saying look we're going to bring in all these different stakeholders from dci led by us and we're going to start sharing our data, all kinds of things. And there's, they've already brought in some interesting partners. You can almost think of this as like the subnet moment moment that BitTensor had. You know, once these subnets start to go live, this data is being shared. The AI uh, language models and all these things are shared with all the other subnets, which helps BitTensor grow exponentially because you're getting access to this information in real time. Mm-hmm. So with this healthcare alliance, now you're going to start tapping into, for, for example, the first one is Data Lake. Data Lake, you know, they've been around for four years. They have this implemented cutting edge technologies to help advance research. They're funded by the European Union. This is like one of the OGs when it comes to um, when it comes to DSI. So now th- these two are working together. Then they're going to be adding in uh, a few of these other companies, and then you're going to have four of them, and then you're going to have eight of them, and then you're going to have this massive cluster of all these decentralized science companies working together, and Axon Dow is facilitating all of this. 100%. And they're going to be funding like all their own pro- their own projects that are coming through the... You can go onto the Axendow website and start to see their own projects that are coming in. They're going to be uh, having a micro-dosing um, research, a whole research program coming live, I think, next month or, or within the next few weeks. So they have like the A plus health, all kinds of things. So like... A plus voice. And a plus voice. And uh, ultra, plus, uh, ultra plus V. So like they're, they have real DSI projects that they're incubating. You can go, you can, you know join the project, join the movement, have your say with governance. Real things are happening. Axon Dow is growing. And, you know, you look at it, again, we talk about this project a lot, but it's still very, very new. Yeah. How long has AXGT been live for? Several months. They've got over 20,000 holders at the moment. You know, the market cap went up. Obviously, you know, it, it went a little too crazy there. It's come down to a respectable value, but I think the sky is still the limit here. Absolutely. Absolutely. Like, there's... You know, think about all the things that we just said. Think about all the potential bullish catalysts that are in the future for AXGT. Can you think of a project that is leading a, a sector like DSI as important for the world that has so many catalysts for the sector and there's so many catalysts for the project? And again, I'm going to ask you the question. Do you want to be an AXGT before all of these announcements and potential catalysts are made live? Or do you want to be an after? Are you going to chase it or are you going to be an early? Do you have patience or no patience? Unfortunately, I know the answer for a lot of people is not <laughs> the one that it should be. But look, we're not financial advisors. We're saying we're saying that we choose to be in early and we choose to have patience with these projects because it patience patience is key, man. Well, we've, we've been investing for I don't know sixteen, seventeen years or not, so we we see the the benefits of having diamond hands on certain projects. This is one of those projects. You know, I I don't. I'm a Bitcoin holder. I'm a potential holder. I'm an AXGT holder. There's a reason why I hold these three and I diamond hand these three versus, you know, 
maybe some of these other projects that are like anonymous or whatever. It's like, yeah, you have a real team here with real scientists, real researchers. Yep. Um, with real advisors. So yeah, if you tune into the Action Dow spaces, like you listen to the team, like they know what they're talking about. Yeah. They have real scientists, real people. This is a real team, fully doxed. This is not some silly crypto project that is making false promises. These guys are the real deal. As we're always transparent with you guys, you know, we hold the Action Dow token. We are advisors. We're marketing advisors to the project. So we're in constant communication with the team. These guys are rock solid. Look, if you have any questions about Action Dow or anything, we're always talking about this stuff in our Discord or leave a comment. Yeah, make sure you tune to the next episode. That one is going to be a banger. All views expressed by speakers on the Bean Pod are solely their opinions. You should not treat any opinion expressed on the Bean Pod as a specific inducement to make a particular investment or follow a specific strategy, but only as an expression of their opinion. This podcast is for informational purposes only.